Okay, so this is the second video in a uh, two video um, set where I'm outlining how to set up a user form for the black model. And I've just identified, labeled, or uh, given the varying text boxes names. So delta here corresponds with delta for call, gamma for call, vega for call, theta for call and rho for call and when we go this side we notice that the black now becomes black p so everything this side is delta p gamma p vega p theta p and rho p and i labeled that label it that way because each of these text boxes have uh, names f k r t and the and the reason why I give them these names names because they have to be consistent with the VBA code I'm going to use. Okay, and just to make sure, so we have a D1, D2, and then D1 and D2. And F, K, V, T um, are the variables that we're going to use, and of course I'm going to use R as well. Okay, so let's just copy this okay and basically we kind of have an output for the parameter values we set up we can get we can output a d1 a d2 and then uh, estimate a black so you can see here the black here is for a call and black p would be for a put option okay so um if we go back into our spreadsheet for a moment and command button 2 so we want to give this function uh, we want this uh, a button to execute a function so double click and we can enter the code in okay so we paste that in and we can have a look at it everything looks okay and then we go back into the user form for a moment and we give this function a caption and the caption here is we're just changing the caption we're not changing the name uh, black output perhaps okay and I think uh, okay we've done everything here now it still remains that we need this user form to appear so we need a prompt so if we go back into a spreadsheet there's nothing but under the developer tab we can come here to insert and we need again a button and okay we'll call it um, give it a name button one and um, we'll just say again I don't know black black 1976 with Greeks okay that looks okay and then we can assign a macro um, button one I would say new and just basically for this I think it's enough just to put user form one dot show. Okay, so previously we're we're loading, unloading. Here we wanted to show. Okay, so we go back into our uh, spreadsheet. Uh, we black. Uh, we we'll put in a few variables that we used before. One hundred and ten. Risk free rate is 10%, time period 1 year, volatility 8%. So these are variables we had used before. And black output. And the numbers look convincing. Okay, so we can do a check to quit. We just quit. And to start the process again, we hit uh, that button there. So I'm going to quit for a moment. And I want to edit the text here and just make it a little bit better black okay and then 
I want to just verify that the results are correct, which is kind of important when you do this. So we have in the spreadsheet, I think we have Greeks here. Um, let's see. Okay, so for 127, I'm going to change this to be exactly 127.09. And everything is updated here. And then let's um it's normally not an issue. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so let's just uh copy what's here. copy and then close this down don't save and what I'll do is I'll paste paste special and text okay so these are just text values okay but I put in this I changed this value to 127.09 exercise 110 risk for rate 10 percent the maturity is one year and the volatility is eight percent okay so let's open up our user form and i put in one two seven point zero nine and then i just return 110 return 10 percent time period one year volatility eight percent now th these values mimic the values i have here Okay, and what I need to verify is are the delta, gamma, vega, theta, and rho estimates for the call and the put consistent with the values here, and are the time values consistent for the call and the put? So let's just black output and 1558, uh, 12 cent, 8754, 8754. Gamma zero zero six five. Okay, we have an issue here. Need to just verify something. And uh, Vega is same. Looks okay. Theta is the same. And Rho is the same. And that's true also. But we do seem to have an issue with Gamma, so we can check that. Okay, so when we look at the output here, everything seems uh, to sync. The value, time value to call is the same, time value to put. Um, the value of delta for the call and the put um, look the same. The gam, however, looks quite different and it only became apparent when I clicked on the box that what was hidden here was the scientific notation. So um, one possibility here is to go back into uh, quit, go back into uh, the user form, and for gamma we'll have to make um, stretch a little bit. Okay, so what we can do is probably stretch the output a little bit and stretch this side as well. Okay, and uh, go back into uh, the spreadsheet. So black 1976. Put in our um, trial values. And we know the answers here because we've worked it out already. 0 0.01. Time value one year. Volatility 8%. And black output. And we can see the figures correspond. Right, we can verify that. And just to note, um, the initial estimates, so the, the Greeks here, we generate from this set of um, formulae. And with the parameter values set out in the text here, 127.09, X exercise 110 risk free rate 
of 10% and volatility 8% maturity on the option position so options futures position uh, the maturity on the option is one year if we check the output Uh, we can verify the results obtained. So the values here um, are consistent with the values we get in the this for the put. The values here that we estimate for the black put Greeks are consistent with the values we have in the uh, user form. Okay, so user form can be really handy and it's also can be very useful with a limited amount of data we can get a full set of diagnostics and of course a much we can produce a much better arrangement here in terms of our um, improving the architecture and the, the design the user form so this is just a preliminary attempt okay i think i'll leave it there